Scores of seashells scooped from a thousand tropical shores. These are melon shells, but they might be Triton's trumpet, ass's ear, bishop's mitre, or pelican's foot. Names as bizarre and exotic as their sea-swept shapes. Pick your fancy, but see what they're doing down at Brighton. A quick swill in a secret formula, and a process starts that's selling shells to shell fanciers, collectors, or just plain shells for mantle shelves. Here's where these washed-up crustaceans cast off get their rough edges smoothed by yet another firm that's found success in the world where the arts and crafts meet nature's handiwork. A giant clam shell. They use one like this as a font in a Lancashire church, big enough to bath a baby in. They come pouring in, shells and sea creatures from all over the world. And if you study a shell like this bear's paw, you'll know why the shell shapers are wise enough to give most of the credit to nature. They call this one Fox's Head. And no paintbrush could presume to improve on the mother of pearl extravagance of this blue abalone, or these bull's mouths. The giant spider shell, a spiky jewel from the South Seas. Giant shells or tiny, smooth mollusks that make exquisite accessories, like earrings. It's a simple enough notion, but the Brighton artists are turning tropical shells into money spinners. Here are their ideas to decorate the dinner table. Or what about this figurine fashioned from shell fragments and carefully painted like a Dresden doll? shell bracelet something new but there's one thing everyone knows about a big conch like this you don't need much imagination to hear the surf on that white tropical beach but here the engraver couldn't resist adding his skills to work a delicate design into the mother of pearl and this is a shell you can use as a lampshade when we said you could bath a baby in that clamshell we weren't exactly joking 